Novena to St. Clair, Day 3. Let us begin. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Intention. Today, let us pray for all those suffering from broken relationships and family struggles. O Most Holy Trinity, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, we praise your holy name for the wonders of grace you have worked in your servant, St. Clair. Through her powerful intercession, grant us the favors we ask for in this novena. Above all, for the grace to live and die in your most holy love as she did. Amen. O Seraphic St. Clair, light of your country, who delivered Italy from barbarous invaders. Obtain for us, we implore, the grace of overcoming all that is against faith and morals, thus preserving in our families true Christian peace with a holy fear of God and a devotion to the Blessed Sacrament. Include your personal petitions here. My dear good People, we are engrossed with news 24 into 7. We follow the news. We are so much caught up with the news. And sometime or the other, we are so much disturbed with the news. But we cannot help but get the news through the papers, through the TV and through the people we get news. But what about the gospel? The gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ. You know, the meaning of the gospel is basically coming from Anglo-Saxon word God's spell and it is also said good news, good story, good telling. What about we people Christians? Do we follow the good news? Jesus Christ. Do we listen to the good news? Jesus Christ. Do we embrace the good news? Jesus Christ. Jesus is the good news. The words of Jesus is good news for each and every one of us. And this is what St. Clair did. She embraced the gospel. She became the gospel. She lived the gospel. She embraced Jesus Christ. She imitated Jesus Christ. She became Jesus Christ for all the members of her community and people around. So also it is high time for us to embrace the gospel, embrace the good news. We are filled with so many things. But what about filling with Jesus Christ? Embracing Jesus Christ, having Jesus Christ and his news in our mouth, in our ears, in our life. As it is read the gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ. So this gospel must become our very own. We must live the gospel, read the gospel, follow the gospel and then preach the gospel through our words, through our actions, through our deeds. It is never too late, my dear people, to become the gospel, to become another Christ. As St. Clair beautifully embraced the gospel, the words, she left everything and she was there with Jesus. So also, it is time for us to embrace the gospel, to become gospel oriented people, to follow the gospel. 
So let us pray for one another. As Saint Clair embraced the gospel, may you and I embrace the gospel, the good news that Jesus lives and he lives forever. That Jesus gives love and he gives forever. The Lord be with you. And through the intercession of Saint Clair, may Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Pray for us, Saint Clair, that we may be made worthy of the promises of Christ. We pray you, Lord our God, grant to us, your servants, who celebrate the feast of Saint Clair, your Virgin, that through her intercession we become partakers of the joys of heaven and co with your only begotten Son, who lives and reigns with you forever and ever. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen.